I also want to switch it over and, um, you know, talk about some things that you guys can start doing to start preparing yourself to be more professional, to just scale your business up. You know what I mean? All right. So one thing for me, and you can you can throw in one thing for me um, that's important for artists is your performance. Right. I always I talk to Brandon Man about it. You know, I talk to a lot of artists about it. A lot of y'all performance is. <laughs> it ain't it. It ain't it. You know what I mean. And the weekend was a trash performance when he a performer when he popped off and he even said it himself. Right, but you know what? The thing is, the difference is, you know, some people learn from their experiences and then some people don't. So I see a lot of independent artists when I go to shows. You know, I was just on a panel recently and they had. There's always something that could go wrong, right? So the DJ was playing music. The DJ was all the way messing up the artist set, like. Every every artist said he was like speeding it up or he kept like looping the beginning and then it was totally throwing the artist off where A, you can see them getting mad, you can see them like like losing their whole mind in front of the crowd. And it's like one, the crowd is seeing what's happening. They understand that the DJ is messing your setup, but you got as a artist, a performer, you gotta learn how to keep the show going. If you see the DJ messing you up, the music ain't sounding right, you still gotta be able to communicate to the audience, talk to them, because these artists was totally like 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 they just wanted to get off stage now. You know what I mean? But it's like, yo, it's people in the audience, we actually rocking with you because we see the DJ messing your setup. Right? Okay. So it's like you gotta be able, you gotta understand that first of all, the show must go on. You have to learn how to keep your set going. I also think that artists need to start exercising. <laughs> yo, artists be out of breath. <laughs> you rappers, especially you rappers, singers don't really move around too much. And if they do, they got some type of choreography going on. But like rappers, that y'all be so hyped, y'all do the bouncy thing back and forth, and then y'all be out right. of breath. Nah, I get it. Like that's that's real because when we talk about artist development and all that stuff, a part of it was exercises and like rapping while I'm doing stuff. I'm on yeah. treadmill and I'm saying my lyrics and all that stuff. If you take it seriously. That's the thing. Like, I only know one artist these days who I, like, got to know on a ground level who would be taking part of of, of something like that. Um, and that was Yanni Mo and Sir. Like, he would be putting her through that old school gamut. And, like, she was dope. As, I, like, I remember she performed sick one night. Like, for real, she was, like, got off the stage and it was like a rap passed <laughs> out type type. But, but she killed. For that moment, she was able to lock in and, and go. And you would have never known from a crowd standpoint right and it was amazing i enjoyed it when i knew what was supposed to be happening and everything anyway like i forgot about the fact she was sick right but most artists can't really do that and to know all right so camera stop for a second so uh maybe i shouldn't no no we want to know what you used to be going into details <laughs> but i used to do this um i was in a, a acting class or whatever theater and all that really stuff. yeah you, look i'm dope i actually <laughs> One man show, I can kill it. Like all kind of accents and all that stuff, but that's a different, different life. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm, I'm most most interesting man in the world, low key. But uh, like we had um, like when we whenever whenever I would do speeches, mm -hmm. right or scripts, and this wasn't even just for that. This might be a speech for class or something like that. I would practice it in in different states, right to the point where no matter what happened. I would be able to kill it. So I'm talking about, I might do it sleepy, right? <laughs> uh, and I'm going to practice just jump, kill yeah. it. I'm fresh when I wake up. I might drink a little something right. and still practice it. You know what I mean? I might do an accent. I would practice it from all these different angles. Like I ain't going to the extreme. extreme. I really want to hear an I'm, accent. I'm but... not going to even talk about like how deep I would get into like deep into it. But like I would literally practice it from so many different states. You know what I mean? In mm -hmm. so many different environments where no matter what happened, when it happened. You can still kill it. Now, it that's matter. that's the thing. Okay, so a lot of artists don't actually rehearse. Yep. You know what I mean? And I think that art y'all got to start getting into rehearsals because, you know, when I was at this show, it was a young lady. She was, she was a rapper and she was from up north. So she had that old school, like, Oxy Brown kind of style rapping, which was dope. It was refreshing. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, A, yeah. she was like... 
she didn't have a show track, which is something that a lot of people need. So as she's rapping, she's like rapping over her vocals, which is clashing. And then when she's then she's running out of breath. So when she runs out of breath, she actually puts the mic down and just let the music rap for her. And then she's just like this. But it's like, we don't even know your song to vibe with you. So you got to keep rapping or keep moving, bust a move or do something. <laughs> like, don't just put your mic down and look tired yeah. because that's what she was doing. But it's like, and then she literally, she knew I was one of the judges. So she got off stage and I told her like, you know, I like the feel of your music. Gave me that old school feel. And she was like, oh man, I ran out of breath. And I'm like, first of all, <laughs> I know that, but why would you tell me that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it was just like, yo. And she was just like, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Like she didn't really practice on how to be performing and moving and connecting with the crowd at the same time. You know what I mean? Even if you got to run out of breath, like she, you got to practice where to take your breaths at. You know what I'm saying? So that's one thing you guys got to start doing. Start having some rehearsal, which actually will give you more content. If you start having rehearsals, you can videotape yourself and, and use that as content. So it's mm -hmm. more than one benefit yeah. to rehearsing, right? And then also get other people. If you're going to have people in the crowd, you know, you if you have a show where you're rehearsing, you can literally tell all your people to come out and tell them what to do. Or when I get on the hook, I'm going to be dancing like this. All y'all dance like this. Look, it's like a way to get creative. The best athletes in the world, best performances in the world, whether you're talking about Beyonce or Tom Brady or LeBron James, they watch film of themselves, critique themselves, mm. and figure out how to get better. Like, are y'all doing that with y'all selves? Are you just performing? It's like, oh, man, that was a great night, and you were just happy the fact that you performed, and you don't even have the ability to look back and think back, well, okay, yeah, I felt like I was doing good in my head, but the crowd looks like, who is this trash exactly. person? Exactly. Or... I could have did that better, even if it was perfect. We These people who are beyond and already considered the best are looking at themselves, trying to figure out how to get better. How seriously do you take your own stuff? That's why I don't have, like, any remorse sometimes. <laughs> when, for real, like, when you aren't taking him that seriously, like, how can you expect to get those results? Yes, people get lucky, and this person doesn't have that ability. This person doesn't have talent. They're still successful. Or this person, like, cool, but... When you go through stuff, you might not have all those other benefits that other people have. All you can do is focus on what you can control. I'm big on focusing on what you can control. So if you aren't doing stuff like that to make yourself better in your art form, your craft, yeah, and then the same thing when it comes to your business and professionalism and all that stuff, then you can't be mad when you get certain results. Right. It's going to be really hard for you to scale up, you know. So definitely do some... <laughs>